This is the twisted tote bag tutorial and um, we're going to start off by just having a quick look at the pieces. So these are all the front pieces. Now you've got some lining pieces as well, which are um, little polka dots. Now those are a fraction smaller and that's because that's going to be the lining and we want that to be a tiny bit smaller. So you need to use these four pieces for your outer. And we're going to take a pattern and a plane. I'm going to put two to one side and we're going to start off with these two pieces. So what we want to do now, they're going to go off the edge of the um, camera here because we they're quite big pieces. So we want to take one piece going kind of 12 o'clock, six o'clock and then your other piece coming across three o'clock, nine o'clock. But we're going to line them up so they're exactly lined up on this corner here and then we're going to sew. We're going to start a quarter inch before that edge and we're going to sew all the way down and we're going to stop a quarter inch before this edge. Now that's quite important because you're going, that's going to come into play later. Once you've done that one, we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other pair and always put the plain one facing one way and the patterned facing the other because when you sew them together you want it to alternate pattern plane and if you do them both the same that will work out for you so exactly the same on this one i'm going to start a quarter inch from the edge of this piece of fabric sew all the way down and stop a quarter inch away from the bottom so i'll jump onto the machine and do that and i'll be back with you in just a sec so both of these pieces are sewn together and we're now going to start joining the two pieces together but before we do what we're going to do is where we've got those little joins we actually need to put a snip into the the piece that's running kind of side to side so here we need to put a little snip in just there and it needs to be um, level with where you've turned that quarter inch but no further than where your stitches are so little one there and i'm going to do the same on this one so again i'm going to push that down out of the way fold that over so the same width as my quarter inch there but no further than my stitches so perfect and now once we've done that we are going to start to sew these two pieces together so we want to line it up let me just pop this a bit more into the center for you let's see so we're going to line it up so we've got that crisscross in the center where all four pieces meet. Now, I would definitely recommend pressing these seams out first. And then once you've got it lined up, you're gonna place that face to face and sew from one quarter inch away from the top, all the way down, and then stop a quarter of an inch before those bottom two pieces meet. So I'm gonna go ahead, do all that, and then come back to you when we're gonna to start to actually put that twist in and construct the bag. Okay, so this point in the center is ready to go. And as we did when we put the little snips in on the sides of the other ones, just so we, it would allow us to kind of turn the fabric later, you can see one, you can see one just there we're going to do the same on the other bits that we've just attached so the two side bits we've already done so it's these two here we're going to have to do so again fold the fabric back to where that quarter inch seam allowance is and then put a snip in but no further than your stitches and same on this side let me just fold it back Ooh, i think my fabric's just flipped over a little bit there so we'll put it in from that side there we go so all those snips are now in and this is the bit where i think most people get confused because what you now need to do is so this piece let me shuffle it up we'll go for these two blue ones first so we're going to sew this piece to this piece so what i'm going to do is take that i'm going to hold it at that corner i'm going to fold it over and get it lined up all the way down here and that's where that little snip comes in so important because that's what's going to allow us to move that fabric round and to rotate it into position so i'm going to uh, clip all of this and then take it to the machine and get it sewn because you see that little snip there has allowed me to move that round the corner so i'm going to pop one in there and just make sure just to open that up 
make sure that I haven't uh, kind of caught any of this inside piece in it. And it's that first one that's the kind of the most important one. After that, it should clip together really nice and easily. Once you've done the whole strip, then you're going to go all the way down from top to bottom. I would definitely recommend starting up at the point where you've already got the join in because if you start at the other end and sew towards that join, if you are out by kind of any small amount, it will kind of cause a little nip or a bunch up at this end. Whereas if you start at this end, if you have gone out by anything, it kind of pushes it all out to that open end where it, it's not gonna matter so much anyway. That's that first seam in, and you can see now, if I open this up at the bottom, you can see how that's gonna start creating the bag and how these pieces are gonna move around. So you wanna repeat that process for the other three sides. So if we're gonna do, let me shuffle this up. If we wanna do this one next, I'm gonna take this edge, flip it over to line it up against that edge. So I'll just put my thumb in the top there to get that straightened out. And then just give it a little, a tweak up the top there to make sure it's lined up nicely pop a clip on and then work my way down making sure that that's all perfectly lined up and there we go and then stitch down that one I'm going to repeat that pro same process for the other two sides and with the um, outer you're going to sew the whole thing when it comes to doing the lining you're actually gonna leave a gap in one of them. So just on one of the four sides, you'll sew um, a good chunk at the bottom, leave about three or so inches in the middle, and then do another chunk at the top. And that's so once you've completed your bag, you've got some way of turning it right side out. So I shall get these two, pe the um, outer and the lining, so that all those four pieces are connected together, and then we'll come back and construct the bag. So you can see the bag starting to take shape there, and that kind of, twisted element coming through it so that is the outer of the bag and i think it's worth pointing out at this point and just check all of your corners that you've done once you have uh, got everything sewn together and if you need to add an extra couple of stitches in just to secure up any holes from where you had to twist that fabric around it's worth doing that at this point so i have the outer and I also have sewn up the lining and left that hole in the side of it so we can turn it right side out. So we're going to leave the um, bag itself right side out and then we're going to flip the lining round and then we're going to slide one inside the other. And then what we're going to do is match up these points. Now it doesn't matter where you start and where you finish on this as long as when you get it sorted, you've got those points matched up because the next step we've got is to add the handles in. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time and flip all of this out properly and pin all of this into place first. And then I'll come back and do you a bit more of a close up of how to put these handles in. I forgot to mention adding the pocket. So there is a piece in the fabazine as well that will create a pocket for the inside of your bag. So um, it's just a, a piece that you are gonna fold over and have a uh, face to face once it's finished. But while you're setting it up, you can have, at this point, you can put some nice rounded curves on that pocket if you want. So what you'll do is you'll take it to machine and you'll sew round uh, one side, round the bottom and then stop and then do the same again from the top down round the corner and then stop leaving a gap at the bottom so you can turn it right side out and that pocket you are going to need to sew onto your lining before we do this next step i forgot to put mine on but we'll we'll add it we'll add it later it's fine so i have gone round and i have pinned the points where all of the seams are and then you can see we've got these pieces sticking out left um, to, that we're going to attach the handles to. Now, as I said, the lining is cut ever so slightly smaller than the outer. So sometimes with this, because the lining is smaller, it will fit a lot better if you turn it the other way out 
and you have the lining on the inside and the outer fabric on the outside and then they should fit a lot better it's just that odd kind of half a millimeter as you're stretching it round it does make a big difference so i would advise doing it with your outside on the outside and your inside on the inside so once you are in a position where you've got all of your seams lined up i'm just going to shuffle that one down a little bit because it was a little bit too high and there we go once we've got those in position then we're in a point to add the handles so let's grab a close-up and then we'll do that so the handles we're going to add in here now i've got kind of them both kind of lined up on top of each other at the minute but we're just going to concentrate on one at the minute so we've got some and um, this really nice soft tape webbing which is makes for really beautifully soft handles and we're going to make this a shoulder bag so we're going to make sure that we've got enough to go up and over the shoulder and we're going to add this into the bag so we're going to take this place it on the inside now before we go to the other side we're going to flatten it out and make sure that we've got um, a flat piece and then i'll do it a little bit closer up so you can see a curve coming across there and then we're going to curve it back the other way and just make sure you've got getting all of this and then come back down and stop it there. So as long as I make sure that that all stays flat, then my handle will sit beautifully once it's on the inside. And when we're gonna attach this, we're gonna, I'm just gonna pin those two pieces on first to make sure that I've got my kind of orientation of my strap right. So I'll just quickly clip them. I'm not bothered about kind of precise positioning at the minute. I just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna end up with a, a twisted strap. And then all of this has got to go onto the inside. So you might need to just open that and repin that seam to make sure that you trap everything on the inside. Let's just make sure that's lined back up and pop that in. And then we can look at more kind of precise alignment of these. So we're going to take that so it goes all the way across because when we sew these, we're not going to sew up and down that whole V. We're going to actually sew up cut straight across and then sew back down and that's what's going to hold these handles in and when we cut across we're going to cut across enough so we can accommodate the quarter inch and just as it turns kind of from the quarter inch and goes straight that's where we want to be cutting that line across so i'm going to go ahead and pin all of this and then when i get to the sewing machine i'll just remind you of that as we sew around it so I'm working my way around and uh, as you can see, I've got the, as we said, the lining, the outer pieces are cut a little bit larger and that's to give you a little bit of wiggle room as you're going around and doing this. So I'm keeping a quarter inch away from the edge of the fabric. So I'm just using the edge of the foot as a guide to do that. And then when I get up to the point where I know that that strapping is, so I've got about the three or four stitches in there, so there i'm stopping keeping my foot down and then turning the corner turning a 45 degree so across that tape and then once i get to the other side of the tape then i'm turning again now this is a combination between um kind of just feeling your way oops, sorry for the wobble feeling your way through and also and um, what i do advise is making yourself a little triangle template which takes the same corner of each of the if i just pull this one across so you can see so you can see that triangle that's just there so make yourself a little template that is that size so you're kind of marking the same amount off each of them but things will always move and shuffle a little bit so you do need to kind of feel your way a little bit as well so the bag is almost finished and you can see it really starting to come into shape now. So the next step is to trim all these excess pieces off. But before you do that, it is just worth turning it right side out just to make sure that everything is kind of as it should be. You haven't missed any bits. All your straps are pulled through and are working properly. So that's everything through the right way and then we're going to push the lining 
into the bag and then pull out these handles and can you see where we've put those handles in where we kind of yes a little bit of it is is feel the way but can you see how they kind of are perfectly square on the top of there now so once i'm happy with that and i know that you know i don't need to do any adjustments on those handles then what i'll do is i'll turn it back inside out and one of the important bits is you see um here where it's bunching up quite badly that just needs a couple of snips in to loosen it off and in these bits here where we sewed across and there was that excess fabric that excess fabric needs to be trimmed off once you've done that you're gonna give it a good press so you know roll all these um seams out and then top stitch all the way around that top edge and your bag will be complete <laughs>